Now, who would live in a house like this? It's worth around £37.5 million. It's in Park Lane in London, overlooking Hyde Park. It's got 17 bedrooms, a 50-foot ballroom and 14 reception rooms. Well, the answer is the Emir of Qatar. But before he can move in, £10 million worth of renovation works are needed. And that's where the Worcester-based company Caption Data Limited comes in. Now, I'm here at their head offices in Brindley Court with director Dan McDermott. Um, so, Dan, we're looking at this picture of the property. looks absolutely fantastic. It's got a, a walkway in there with pillars as you go in. Very, very grand. Uh, what was it like actually looking around it? Um, it was covered in scaffolding. There were workmen running around all over, lots of tools lying about. Um, nothing like the pictures suggest that it's going to be eventually. We were contacted to say we need to monitor strategic points throughout the property. The sensors are placed around the property. What they then do is they collect the temperature and humidity and also some other metrics as well transmit them back to the base station. So once these 38 boxes have collected this data, um, just looking there, that looks a little bit like uh, the SIM card I've got in the back of my mobile phone. That's inside that station, is it? What happens then? The data, once it's all collated, is sent across the mobile phone network through to our servers, which is where our clients can then access the data. There is also monitoring and alarming on there so that if something gets too hot or too cold, they can get a text message to say that that's occurred. You can be sat on a beach in Bahrain or in, in, in Qatar and see exactly how warm or how dry your rooms are. And you, all you need is just a standard web browser. That might be on an iPhone, it might be on a normal computer, or you may even, I've had it working on um, a, a Kindle. I've, said, I've had it working on a Wii as well. I imagine this sort of technology could be used much for much more than just heritage sites. Um, how about um, victims of flooding, for example? Would they use it? Yes, we've uh, we've had them used in places like Cockermouth, where we've had you know especially lots of basements and they, which are particular problems where they need to be dried out. What you can't have is if you're looking after a hundred properties, then you would have to spend a lot of time going from property to property, taking readings just to find out that it's not dry yet. With that, with this system. You can, all you have to do is just put one system in each property and then you can just sit back and examine all of the properties at once from your desk using a normal web browser. You were talking there about Cockermouth and I know you've already got a presence in the European market but from what we've seen on the news recently in Japan and New Zealand for example, is there a possibility that you will extend your business in the future elsewhere? Yes, we're looking at um, expanding out. Um, at the moment we're looking at uh, sort of gr the greater, greater Europe and also the States. Um, eventually you know, we'd like to go you know, further afield but that all takes time. Now, the Emir of Qatar is obviously a big client for you, but you've had some interesting customers before. A few months ago, there was the Duchy of Cornwall. They used our equipment to monitor one of their water-damaged properties. The Royal Family was monitoring it as it was drying out.